Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the regrets, regrets I've experienced during my career. I'll kind of just go through my LinkedIn and look at each job and kind of talk about uh, certain things I, I've regretted during my different jobs and like transitioning jobs and, and that kind of thing. And then overall, I'll, I'll kind of talk about some of my regrets or at least some of the things I wish I would have possibly done a little bit differently. I feel kind of uncomfortable like saying regret because I, I don't really regret anything um, I really am like super aware of hindsight bias in the sense that you don't really know, you know, if the choice you made in the past was the worst choice. Like, for example, one like really easy way to think about this is if you're if you're going through a forest, right, and then there's two paths and then you just flip a coin and you take one of the paths and then on that path you get mauled by a bear. <laughs> And then maybe you, you lose your right eye and then you're just blind. And then for the rest of your life, you just spend all your time regretting that you chose that path instead of this path. But little did you know, if you chose the other path, there's like 10 bears on that path and you, you just would have been eaten and dead. So it's easy to like look back on that and be like, man, I should have picked the other path. But you don't really know, you know, if the other path was actually worse than the one you picked. It, it's easy to think that, you know, if you had a bad time from the choice that you picked, but you don't really know if it was the worst choice or not. So just having just keeping that in mind I'm just you know take what I'm saying with a grain of salt I know that the choices that I made like weren't necessarily the worst choices but with hindsight bias in mind I'm just going to talk about like some of the regrets throughout my career and maybe you can like use some of the things I'm saying to at least think about it or use it to to make some decisions like in the future for your career so yeah let's just uh, go ahead and get started on this so I'm going to just hop right into my LinkedIn here and I'll start from the very beginning of my IT career and kind of like move upwards sort of. So my very first job I had, uh, it was kind of like a help desk job. And I, I kind of moved into like a IT analyst specialist role in the same department. And I didn't really have anything I, I regretted about this job because it was really nice. It was really comfortable and stuff. But if I if I had to pick something, uh, my regret would be that I, I stayed here for, for too, too long. In my opinion, I stayed here for nine years. Um, my coworkers are great and it was really comfortable, but I don't think you should, you should stay at like any job or especially any job in IT IT for nine years because I when I started full time I was making like 50k about and then like after at the end of this I guess technically full time I was I was here seven years so I started and I was making like 50k and then at the end of seven years I was making like 75k which was like really bad for seven years in IT you should be able to like you know if you if you try you should be able to like in seven years you should be like you know max out your salary essentially but I didn't really know any better and like you know all this stuff but looking back on that I, I shouldn't have like stayed in that role for seven seven years because not, not only for salary like your skills will like tend to stagnate or not stagnate but they'll kind of like uh you'll have a, a lot of diminishing returns like after a while and it's just hard to like keep getting new skills so it's better to like my opinion to move around yeah that's all i just i think i stayed here for too long and then when i quit this job um the very next job this netops specialist one this is the one i don't know if you've seen that video where i talk about how i went to japan this is this is the job where i went to japan and, and i was working on a marine base i don't really have any regrets like attempting to get that job because that's something I really wanted to do for a long time and when I went there it ended up sucking quite a bit and I, I realized like how bad it was and I, I just did the best thing I could do and I just like I just like quit immediately and like came back to the states so I don't really have any regrets in that sense but the one kind of thing that I, I guess I regretted is because when I, I quit this Edmonds job I was making like 75k and then in order to even like get this job I had to like downgrade my pay like quite a bit so I took this job and like not only did I get like you know screwed essentially in terms of my living arrangement and everything I had to take like $25 an hour to like quit my state job with like all the benefits just to come here and like get screwed. So I, I don't think I will take that big of a pay cut again in my career, even if like, you know, there seems to be benefits behind it. It's just not really worth it. So I, I kind of regret taking this job just because like I took such a massive pay cut. And then after this job, there was like a whole bunch of other jobs before this one, which I didn't uh, actually, I don't actually put on my resume because they're like really short. Um, So I'll, I'll just mention those like really quick. Uh, those jobs too, like I, I still like wasn't really confident my job hunting ability um they were all like contracts and i i tended to like take the first thing that came to me 
and like when that happened like i i kind of took like another pay cut uh from this Edmonds job i made like less than i made here again when my skills are like way above that so for these invisible jobs i would say like i regretted taking the first thing that came to me because i i know looking back i could have got something like way better and i kind of missed out on, on a lot of pay so after all those after all those jobs i kind of uh i quit and then i essentially like moved to hawaii to work at this bank this american savings bank and i don't really i don't really have any regrets for this one to be honest so this job was like pretty decent um i met some nice people and then I, I kind of got introduced into security here i wasn't really too picky about the job i was getting because i had to like change states and like move to hawaii so i i had to kind of start working sooner rather than later because i didn't have that much money at this time and i didn't really have like a lot of regrets for this one to be honest not not really anything to regret and after a year I quit working here to move back to the Seattle area. And then I I ended up getting this job as a consultant. And looking back, I, I regret taking this job. It was quite bad. Um, I got what I felt. I got abused like really poorly, but I can't really blame the employer that much because apparently that's just like how consulting is. And I, I really regret not researching the company enough and not like researching how consulting was enough. I kind of just like jumped into this blind. So look, like, looking back, I could have saved myself like a lot of time and energy just by simply doing a little research, a little bit of research before accepting this job. Because I had like a really bad time with this and like the, the client in my own like consulting firm like really abused me like really, really bad. Badly. But apparently that's normal in the consulting world. But so yeah, looking back on this, I should have researched a little bit more. Yeah, so I, I pretty much quit this. It wasn't even six months. I feel like it was less than that. But I quit this job after I think it was like four months, if I'm being honest. I don't know why it says six months here. But I quit this job. And then actually, uh, I'll skip over these. I, I started working this job immediately. This is like a senior security engineer, uh, information security engineer at King County. That's like the place that I worked last, like where I quit, where I made this video, like I quit. I, I started working here first and I I didn't like working there obviously because I quit King County like twice but I don't really regret taking this job um, it's just like one of the jobs that it's not something I, I was passionate about and like really sought out. It's my my friend like gave me a link to it. He's like, you should apply for this. And I did. And I, I ended up getting hired, but I, I ended up like not liking it like really quickly. Um, this job I got like maybe 118k or something. And there's not really a lot I can regret about this, especially in hindsight. But after I, I noticed it was bad, I quit like pretty soon after that. So I think I did like a pretty good job of, you know, recognizing the situation and just bouncing from it. But I eventually like a bunch of time went by maybe like a year or something and then I actually like went back to King County and that was like a really big mistake so I like quit this job and then I, I went to go work at Microsoft this job which was really nice I'll come back and talk about it in a second um, but I went to work at Microsoft and then King County like asked me to come back to help with a vulnerability management program and I, I felt like oh my gosh I should like go and help because I've never really been like you know requested to do something like this before but in hindsight I don't think that was like the best choice because I already knew how this this organization was and I, I knew I didn't like working there I just I thought it would be like different the second time around but it really wasn't because obviously like you know the culture is the same and everything that was a really stupid move on my part just looking back on it because I don't know like what I was expecting I guess and like this really like wrecked my mental health like really badly so you know if you if you work somewhere and you my nose it's just if you work somewhere and then you quit because the culture is bad don't go back there like a year later because it's probably not going to be any better so yeah that's what that's what I kind of Right, regret about this one this job like you know it wasn't i didn't really know any better but this one this one i knew better that was bad news um this so going back to the microsoft contract there's nothing really i regret about this one it was a little bit of a a strange job i guess okay i do regret something about this one for this job uh, i was working in i was working in like a cloud and ai and we we're designing security benchmarks for azure my my manager was really really good and competent my team was like really smart and really nice for the most part and i really enjoyed my work and they 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 wanted me to like apply to be full time there and I could have just applied. I could have not been an idiot and went back to King County and I, I could have just applied there and I would have been like, you know, a full time Microsoft employee, like program manager. And, and it would have been OK because people at Microsoft are like on top of their game and like I'm the bottleneck, right? Not the people around me, like making me the bottleneck, like I'm the bottleneck. So I can pretty much like is work as much as I want to. And this was like a really great job. Um, but King County called me back and I was like, oh, I got to go. So I, I ended up like leaving this job to go back to King County. And that was a, that was a mistake like looking back on it again you know who really knows if that was an actual mistake but from my point of view you know the hindsight bias it was a mistake like quitting this job it was a, it was a mistake not you know accepting
accepting like the FTE like offer slash proposal and like quitting. That was a, that was a bad move on my part. So if you get anything out of this, like if you if you like a job, like consider not quitting it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, eventually, you know, I quit this job. There was like some time period of time where I was like an adjunct faculty at uh, Edmonds College, where I was kind of teaching like Windows Server, Windows Server, and some networking, like a little bit of security things, and that was like really fun. It was fun. I don't I don't think I have I don't have anything I regret about this job to be honest. Um, I taught like maybe two or three quarters. I can't remember, maybe two. But um, I ended up quitting because I, I wanted to do YouTube and I wanted to like reach more people than like, you know, 30 people at a time. So I quit and they like this college like asked me to come back a couple times to teach, but like I didn't wanna I don't wanna be forced into like a certain curriculum and I didn't wanna like spend a lot of energy to reach like only 30 people. So I just ended up like declining. But I really did like this job. And if you get like opportunity to teach sometime in your life, maybe just like take it for a while just to kind of experience it. But I don't really regret anything about this job. Um, it didn't, it doesn't pay a lot, uh, especially for like the expertise that's required. It's kind of like really, really low pay, but you know, the experience was good and I met some really nice people like the, they were my students. So I, I really enjoyed it. So not really, not really much, not really much to regret here. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Like after this job, this is the, the job where I quit, where I made the video about. And then I just haven't worked a conventional job since then. And looking back on my career as a whole, as far as like overall regrets, probably I kind of regret not like picking the things I wanted to do and just like being passionate about them and just like go and just like going for those things because a lot of the time um stuff would just like come to me like in my email like from recruiters or like somebody I knew and I'll just be like oh okay and I just like do it and it propelled my career but it kind of propelled it in the wrong direction if that makes sense it kind of propelled it somewhere that I never really considered doing and I wasn't necessarily passionate about it and I didn't necessarily like it I, I kind of found myself in program management although like you know my experience at Microsoft like wasn't that bad but you know i i would prefer to be like an operations or like engineering or like software engineering or something like that but i i just didn't like steer my career in that direction on purpose so i would say like i, I kind of regret riding the waves a little bit too much and just letting my career control me instead of letting instead of like trying to control my career myself it, it really led to a lot of like unnecessary stress and like hardship for me because i'm like really sensitive to like my my work and i get like really i get stressed out like really easily and i cannot handle really long-term stress like doing something I really don't like um and it really like hurt me mentally and I was like really messed up for a while um so I, I guess I would regret like you know letting my career get too out of control and not like you know making my own decisions and like brute forcing like jobs that I wanted to do instead of just like let like taking like whatever came to me but looking back you know I can't say 100% regret because I, I did learn a lot of things and I met a lot of nice people and like etc so you know just keep that in mind but if I I did have have regrets that's uh what they would be yeah i'd be interested hearing about any of your regrets like what do you think about i guess what i said in this video and do you have like any similar experiences or like what are some of the regrets you've experienced throughout your career i'd definitely be interested in seeing those i do read and respond to all the comments so you know don't hold back if you feel like you want to leave a comment or criticize something but yeah thank you so much for watching this far really appreciate it if you feel like supporting me or the channel i do have a patreon so shout out to all of my patrons who are supporting me Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate everyone else for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.